Well, good morning, wonderful parents of Fairfield Christian School. It's already May 1st, which means this is my last uh, address as superintendent for the year of uh, 2017, but it's also my last address as superintendent at all. Uh, we've known this day has been coming for some time. You know, God really blessed my life when he enabled us and our church board back in the spring of 2009 to dream this idea of Fairfield Christian School. And, you know, since then, uh, the church, of course, grew into multi-campuses and my role switched and I began to oversee all those campuses. We turned over the day-to-day -day responsibilities of the school to Sean Fortney, who quite honestly has far exceeded my expectations. Sean has turned out to be a phenomenal leader and I'm just so blessed and only have him lead Fairfield Christian. I'm blessed to call him a friend. Well, a little bit of transitions going on, as some of you may know, the, all the real life churches, um, our senior pastor, Pastor Scott Hagen, resigned to become the new president of North Central University, Minneapolis, Minnesota. And so the school in Fairfield and the church in Fairfield is once again reverting uh, to an independent status, the way it always was for many, many years. Uh, when I and my wife were privileged to pastor there and to be the principal. Of course, now Pastor Mike and Renee Tadlock lead that church, doing an amazing job. And of course, Sean leading the school. And so after this month, uh, Pastor Mike will become the chairman of the board, the school board, uh, the role that I've held for the last uh, you know eight, nine years or so. And of course, then Sean is uh, assuming full control, full leadership of the school, which honestly he already has anyway. Now, what does that mean for me? Well, you can't get rid of me that easy. Uh, I'm still available, still kind of functioning in a, a Christian education consultant role. Uh, if I were to be honest, uh, Fairfield Christian and Real Life Church Fairfield uh, will always be at the core of my heart. Those are two things that God gave my wife and I, uh, in, you know, birthed and vision in our hearts, you know, back really in, uh, in the summer of 2005. And it's just been a dream ever since then, to, or, or I won't say a dream, it's been a, a fruition of that dream to watch what's happened and to see how it's grown and how God's blessed it. And the school is larger than it's ever been. Uh, so glad for what's going on there. We're now talking about, you know, potentially a second campus until we can get all things together. So many things to, to figure out. Uh, but I'm blessed to still kind of be involved in, in a consultant role, uh, you know, picking up that phone and talking to Pastor Mike and to Sean as they sort their way through this. But we leave the school and the church in amazing hands. And uh, as you know, God's called us to a new se season down here in Seaside. And we have a Christian school that uh, needs some help and is requiring a lot of my attention. And of course, we've got new staff and personnel coming in. Uh, and it's gonna be a good year for us as well, but that's gonna take the majority of my focus. But so to those of you who have been with us since the beginning, man, God bless you. Thank you for hanging out. I think we have just one or two of those families left. Uh, and all the families have come along the way. I mean, you've been part of our family. We're so grateful. You'll still see us around. We'll still be part of uh, the school culture every now and then. Uh, but man, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to serve you. Thank you for trusting us with your kids. And thank you for continuing to support the ministry of Real Life Church of Fairfield and Fairfield Christian School in the days, weeks, months, and even years to come. My prayers are with you. God bless you. Have a great May. Hopefully see you at graduation or some other uh, event toward the end of the year. If not, then God be with you, but we will see you soon.